up, YouTube? This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. And what I'm cooking today is going to be a beef roast. Uh, I'm going to show you what I put in there, what I mix with it. Makes it something different that you've probably never seen. Uh, I'm going to show you the ingredients when we go in this house, man. Ain't going to make this video too long just because it takes a long time to cook this. It's a little small one this time. Put in an aluminum pan, put my secret ingredients. And I'm going to show you that, giving away all my secrets, right? So if you ever cross me and we, we go into a little friendly competition, you can already beat me because you know what I'm cooking with. Maybe. You know what I mean? It still takes some skills at working that grill. Because if you don't know your grill, fun fact, you're going to lose every time. It don't matter if you got the same ingredients. But anyway, let's go in this kitchen, man. I'm going to show you what we do, and then we're going to come back and get this thing started. All right. All right, YouTube, we back. And we in this kitchen. We're about to hook up a... I'm going to show you what it is. Says, I don't know if you can see that. It says Chuck Tender Roast Beef. Let's see if you can read that just so you know what I'm doing. Anyway, all right. Got a little small one. I'm gonna put it in a aluminum pan and uh, put it on the smoker. I'm gonna use some of this slow cooker's uh, for pot roast from McCormick's. Obviously, some of your standard nature seasoning, some woo sauce, uh, adobo, a little bit of garlic. And you already know. That's what I'm sitting in. I don't sit in there water. Not this time. Sitting in uh, beer and woo sauce for about four hours in the refrigerator. Let it soak up. And then we're going to put it in an aluminum pan and put it on the smoker. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and uh, mix up my seasoning in a little bowl and show you how I season this bad boy. We'll be right back. Be back. Got my little handy dandy bowl. I want you to see how much seasoning uh, Not much because... This is overpowered, especially with this uh, savory pot roast. Um, I'm going to put onions in there and green peppers, but I'm not going to sit it in the marinade while I'm sitting in, in this concoction. I put it in right before I put it on the, on the grill because I don't want the onions to lose, lose the flavor. I want it to get the onion, you know, that's that, that strength of the onion after you freshly cut it. You know, you got the tears in your eyes and stuff. I want that on there as I put it into the, uh, the aluminum pan when I put it on the smoker. But anyway, simple as I season it. Uh, I'm just sprinkling it on, then I'm gonna rub it in, and then go from there. Not too concerned with the fat side because obviously the fat, I'm not gonna eat the fat, but it will uh, render as it's smoking if you cook it long enough, and then uh, the flavor will be intense. So just go from there. You know how to uh, season season meat, and it's kind of like a a paste because I just washed the meat off which is even better because not a stick uh, the key here is to obviously like I said marinate this but the key is to let it sit for a minimum of four hours before you put it on on um, early in the morning as you can see it's starting to look good already you can see the little flavors that's in there I don't know what they put in the package but I don't really care I just know what the end product is and outstanding um green bay playing my uh my second team i'm from georgia so you know i follow the falcons I'm not a falcon fan i'm a 49er y'all know that but uh i follow them been going to a couple games all uh, this year um uh, was at the green bay i mean uh, the atlanta game when they played uh seahawks um i was actually rooting for the seahawks but anyway they lost and i'm hoping they go to the super bowl man so we can go check that out but that's how you pretty much do that and when you're pouring your beer in, you want to pour it on the side because you don't want to rinse off the uh, the seasoning you just put on there. You get how that works. And your woo sauce, definitely want to put that in there. Woo, on, woo sauce on beef is outstanding. Not too much. And then that's it. You let it sit, like I said, for four hours. Um, at two hour mark, I'll flip it over. Just so, you know, the, the, the bottom portion, because the fat cap's not going to soak it up. Um, but I'm going to let it sit now. Uh, the suds from the beer dissip dissipate and then dissipate. Dang, using big words right here. Anyway, and we'll go from now. Put it on the, in the uh, tent aluminum pan, put the onions in there. I'm not going to show you all that. Just show you when I'm putting it on the grill. You'll see the onions and bell peppers cut up in there. Maybe even put some carrots in there if I got some. But anyway, uh, we'll see you at the grill. As you can see, let me give you a close-up of this uh, beef. You can see the uh, the onions floating, green peppers. Um, good times, man. Go ahead and wrap this in aluminum foil. 
and then place it on the grill. Simple. Simple. This out the way. Using my ready check 733. As you can see, my light's blinking right now. 265 on the uh the uh temp for the internal, that's because it's just sitting in there, and 253 for the uh for the uh internal temp. Um it, it usually sounds off, but I hit the uh, silence on it just because I know. Um it will go from there. Remember once you put the uh meat on there, it will um draw the, the temp down. So a lot of people other than chicken, a lot of people will take the uh, the meat out and let it come to almost room temperature before they put it on the grill. Saves you maybe 30 to 45 minutes of cook time because the temperature comes up to whatever room temperature, whatever that is, 60, 70 degrees, depending on what you got your uh, AC unit on and whatnot. Um, this one, just took it out of the refrigerator. Um, been sitting about four hours. It's sitting in beer, like I said, beer and woo sauce. And then I'm just gonna let it sit and let it do its thing. Um, I'm going to put another layer of aluminum foil on there at about an hour. Then we're going to go from there. So we'll see you uh, once it comes up to a uh, decent temp so I can show you a picture of it. Um, I don't like to keep opening it up, but as we go along, you'll see. So just stick with me. We'll be back in a little while. This is about done, this roast. I'm going to go ahead and take, it, uh, take the aluminum foil off so it can... Uh, breathe a little bit, get a little smoke in there before I take it in the house. I'm going to show you what it looked like and then uh, show you the final product once I get it in the house. Give me a second. See that smoke coming off of it? Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead and flip it over. Ooh, that's hot. We'll go ahead and pull my thermometer out. Let it breathe. And then it's on, y'all. Let's check it out in a little while. We back. Look at this thing all shiny and glistening. That's yes, all. Look how moist it is. Mm-hmm. I'm about to take it out. Let me see if I can flip it over so you can see that fat cap. See that fat cap on there. So what I'm going to do is flip this over. Let it sit now. Till it uh, cools off. And I'm going to take it out and devour it, man. Hey, long story short, that's how you do a uh, beef rib on the, uh, I mean beef rib, beef roast on the smoker. Um, let it go. Put aluminum foil on in the beginning. You know what I mean? Till it's, uh, it's cooked up to a decent temp. I do it up to about 170, which is well done for beef. And then uh, then I take the top off and then just let it cook. You know what I mean? Flip it over, flip the fat cap on the bottom. And then let the top of it cook because that's what you're going to be eating. I ain't eating the fat cap. And then you go from there, man. I flipped it over right before I uh, uh, brought it in, um, as you can see. And then now, I'm just going to let it sit in them juices. I'm going to pull the juice out and then go from there, man. It's time to eat in a little bit. This is Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Don't forget to like, comment. Love y'all comments, man. Comment, man. Y'all definitely get back to you within 24 hours. And subscribe, man. I'll be sending more videos. That way you get to learn when I send a new one, man. I'll be sending another one maybe on Wednesday. I think Wednesday, yeah. So be on the lookout for that. Holla.